So I have uh, run down to the beach again, at the same spot, just climbed down the cliff a little bit to get on to the beach. And someone was telling me yesterday that the beach here is like really nice, but I was like, uh, I don't really, like it's okay, but you kind of can't swim in it, like you couldn't just like walk off the sand into, into the water, because there's like a lot of rocks, and sort of like, it's quite sharp on some places. So yeah, I don't know, I guess uh, different people have different views on what is a good beach. So we just spent the next uh, couple of hours looking at what else we want to do on the island and I was trying to share some of the content except the internet is quite slow so I didn't get very far so I have to try and tackle that later today. Um, so yeah, so we got some uh, petrol for the motorbike and so now we're going to go and see if we can find some lunch and then we're going to head off um, to a, another waterfall and I'm not sure what else we're going to do today but I will fill you in as that unfolds. So we've arrived at Lagan Falls. This is not the waterfalls that we were looking for um, but maybe it is, we're not too sure. Um, this is definitely the most expensive one we've been to. It's a 50 peso fee each to get in and then it's a 10 peso fee to park your bike which is pretty standard. And there's also a little cave inside uh, the guide just told us so if you just go through one of the ends of the waterfall you go through into a little cave. <laughs> at the Kawasan Falls and there is no entrance fee to get into this one, it's just a pan Filipino peso to park your bike and the guys are telling me it's 150 steps to get down and apparently there's a little cave in there as well so we'll um, won't be able to film that because I'm going to get wet. This place is not to be mistaken as the Kawasan Cebu, Kawasan Boho, Kawasan Palawan, Kawasan any other Filipino Island, uh, this is Kawasan in uh, Ziggy Hall. And as I've said before, uh, for some reason they like to use a lot of the same names in those and over again. So we've just arrived at La Kong Falls and it was 10 pesos to park the bike and 50 pesos each to um, get in and all three of the falls that we're visiting today are quite close to each other and they all tend to be a bit quieter than the uh, other really popular one that's quite close to here as well and the swing on this one is free whereas i've got to mention at the last one it was 100 uh, sorry it was 50 um, pesos per, yeah, per person for unlimited swings on that one mm -hmm. 